everyone welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel um i do apologize because it has been a while since i've sat down to film a proper video i am here today to do a vinyl haul of some albums that i've gotten over the past month or two including my trip to chicago so uh yeah i'm super excited to show you my finds so first up we have this album from a band i newly discovered they are called the melons and this is their debut album called introducing the melons I believe this album came out last year in 2022. They are very much inspired by the classics, a lot of sunshine pop. If you like the Beach Boys, the Zombies, the Beatles, of course, I think you will enjoy this record. I ordered the vinyl from their web store and it's on a super pretty yellow vinyl, which matches the album perfectly. But yeah, they're a super cool band and I definitely recommend checking them out. Next up, we have American Beauty by The Grateful Dead. And I did already have this on vinyl, but as you can see, it is on a cool color pressing. It, it is a Target exclusive. Please don't yell at me for that. I picked this one up at my local Target and it says the color is Limeade. Um, so there's what it looks like. This is a classic album, so I'm happy to have a color pressing of it. If you've never listened to The Grateful Dead before, I feel like this album is a good place to start. Next up, we have Michael Nesmith. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm a huge Michael Nesmith fan. Um, this is the Lost RCA Victor Recordings. I kept seeing this one at the record store and Barnes & Noble, but it was kind of pricey. I actually had saved it to my Amazon wish list, and one day I randomly got a notification that the price had went down, so I went ahead and got it from there instead. This is a 2LP album, and I do think that there was like two or three different colors to choose from. This is the Blue Smoke copy, which I think matches the cover perfectly, so I was happy with this one. And I'll go ahead and show the gatefold and everything before I forget. And can we just take a second to appreciate this cover because I love this suit so much and this photo shoot is everything to me. <laughs> I have a pretty good collection of Michael Nesmith records that I've gotten over the last couple of years. Um, a lot of them are from 7A Records. I really love the... Um, re-releases they've been doing for the 50th anniversaries and stuff so um yeah maybe i'll make a video showing those someday back in february i took a trip to chicago and it was my first time going there and really getting to explore the city and i got to visit some of the record stores there one of the record stores i went to was sugar records i have a sticker of them right there um it was a super cool store and they had two records that i've been looking for for a while first up is this nuggets compilation from rhino records this is artifacts from the first psychedelic era i'm sure pretty much everyone in the vinyl community has this or has already heard of this but if not it's just it's like it says it's super early psychedelic music and it's very interesting to listen to this is just a plain black pressing it is not original as you can see, it is from 2021. It's from Rhino's um, Start Your Ear Off Bright, the little campaign they do at the beginning of every year. So yeah, I was super excited to find this one. They're actually doing a huge box set of this release for this record store day, and I'll probably pass on the box set, but I'm super excited to see what's in it. I also picked up this Nuggets compilation, which is super similar. It's not so much psychedelic and more just like sunshine pop, which I'm so into right now. I have no idea when this actually came out, but it is a Record Store Day exclusive, so that's pretty cool. I love the packaging for this, and as you can see, it's on a really cool um, opaque orange swirl color. Next up, we actually have a Beatles record that I did not already own. This is the Beatles Yellow Submarine song track. And to be honest, there's only one reason that I bought this. While I was in the record store, I saw this, and I noticed it had a sign on it that said import, and usually... That means bootleg. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I thought it was a situation where it meant bootleg. Um, so I scanned it onto Discogs and it showed that it was the yellow color pressing. And honestly, that's the main reason I got it because I thought it would be super cool to have a yellow color, yellow submarine pressing, but it is not on colored vinyl. It is on black vinyl, so I played myself. <laughs> Next up, we have this Monkey's Picture Disc. It is called Monkey Business. Um, I've seen this at the record store several times and I've always passed on it just because I already have all these songs on vinyl anyways. I thought, you know, I do love the picture of them in the Rainbow Room and I don't have any Monkey's Picture Disc, so I thought it would be cool to have. It was uh, pretty cheap at the record store. Here is a better look at the front and here is the back. I usually don't listen to picture discs that much, especially on the original ones because the sound quality isn't that great, but again, I thought it would just be cool to have and cool to take some photos with. 
So next up is an album that I've been wanting for a while. It's um, I've been looking for an original copy, but they're so expensive. So I decided to get a reissue. And even the reissues are pretty expensive, but I actually traded in some records to my local record store and they gave me some credit to spend in the store. And this is the album that I picked out. So this is Blonde on Blonde by Bob Dylan. It is probably my favorite Bob Dylan album and I'm so happy to finally have it on vinyl. This album has Just Like a Woman, which is one of my favorite Bob Dylan songs. And yeah, I'm just really happy to have this on vinyl now. There's also a fun fact about this album that I'm going to share. Um, I had no idea this was a thing until someone on Instagram let me know. Hopefully I'm explaining this right, but Blonde on Blonde was the first rock album that was a double LP. And it's just on black vinyl, so I'm not going to show that. If you're interested though, I know that Vinyl Me Please just done a cool color pressing of this. So that is it for my vinyl haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see y'all next time. Bye!